Welcome everyone to the feeling of entirety or wholeness, one of the four brothers of art. I'm Lisa Dalton. This is the NMCA way, Michael Chekhov. And we are here with my colleague and co-founder of the National Michael Chekhov Association, Will Kilroy, who's going to get us launched. Hey there, Will Kilroy. And I am going to start us out, if you've been following us, with looking at your hand again. So we're thinking of sense of wholeness and entirety. So what I'd like you to do first is just look at that little microcosm of your hand that is your fingernail. And look how that fingernail has a sense of wholeness to that nail. The whole, the cuticle, the top part, that has a sense of wholeness. But then you realize that if you start looking down, it goes into the whole finger. So you can look at your whole finger with a sense of wholeness. So that's got a completeness, a sense of entirety to your finger, but then it's also part of your entire hand. So now look at your entire hand and experience that sense of wholeness in your hand. And we could go on and on with this sense of wholeness because you could see the hand as part of the arm, as part of the whole body. So wholeness depends on how you're looking at it. And what we're going to do now with that hand is move your hand, start in stillness, and then make a complete motion with your hand, whatever it is, and then stop. And hold that for a count of three. In the NMCA way, we like to call it the law of triplicity, where we use uh, that law. And with this, just holding for a count of three gives us just that sense of wholeness, of entirety. And then start again, move your hand again. So you're now at the beginning point, you move it you're in the middle, and then come to some sort of ending point, hold that, silently thinking of that count of three, and you've come to an end point. So you're now creating the sense of wholeness with the way you move your hand. So one more time, you're beginning, you move it, you come to an end point, and you pause for a count of three, experiencing that sense of wholeness, a beginning, a middle, and an end point, and then just grab an object that's near you. So you've got an object and start with that object being stationary, but then start a movement with that object. So now you're in the middle and then come to an end point with that object, wherever it is, and pause for a three count. So now you've experienced a sense of wholeness, but then it's going to continue again, moving. You had a beginning, you're in the middle and come to an end point and pause again. So you can apply this in all different ways, which I'm sure we'll talk about after this, but I wanna continue this little bit of practice with a sense of wholeness and entirety. So I'm going to kick it over to Jeffrey. Okay, everybody, so here's what we're gonna do now. We are going to move a mountain together, but we're gonna start small. Uh, begin with just in your palm of your hand, imagine a pebble, and with your finger, Put all your focus on moving that pebble. Move that pebble all the way to the tips of your fingers and then flick it off. Let's build on that now and we're gonna move a rock. With your hands, imagine that you are moving a rock about the size of a softball and begin to move that rock. Using your whole body, your entire self, move that rock. And push it away. Now we're gonna get up on our feet and we're gonna move a boulder. I invite you to get up on your feet and imagine you've got a large boulder in front of you with your whole entire body. Let's move that boulder, push that boulder. Engage your legs in the pushing and engage your arms in the pushing and push that boulder away. Now the last part of this is gonna take everybody working together because now you're gonna imagine a mountain in front of you. Look at that mountain and really picture all the pieces of it. Start from the ground, 
and build that mountain up high above the sky in the clouds and you see that whole mount together, we're all gonna push that mountain. But it's gonna take all of us and our entire bodies. So, on the count of three, begin to move that mountain. One, two, three. Whew, all right. And shake that off. Thank you very much, mountain movers. Nice job. This has to do with physical restrictions, getting rid of a physical restriction. And what I'm learning about physical restrictions is that if I can move my leg, like you moved a mountain, that it strengthens my hips and the other leg. And so this is one of the things, not knowing what you guys do, but that I do every morning is I stand on one leg. I still have to have support. You can stand on one leg and I move a rock in my face as far as that leg will go. And then I have to move my support. The idea is my foot is not point, don't point your toe. You have to have your foot like it's flat, only it's up in the air. And you push as hard as you can to get that boulder away from you. And that's something I do every morning, not realizing um, that it was, to me, it's strengthening my hips, but it is on my feet, which I just, that's what attracted me to you guys. I have two little exercises. The first one, I would like, it's a, it's a, I, I would like you to move. And then when I say stop, I would like you to, so to be moving, you can be on your feet if you'd like. Um, and, or if you want to be seated, you can stay seated and use, but think when you're, if you're seated also that you're, that you are moving your, your whole body. So uh, you're changing how your toes are, everything. And just for a moment, uh, begin with imagining uh, that you're going to move. And when I say stop, I want you to stop your whole body. Okay, and then I'll, I'll guide you from there. So move and stop and pause for a moment and think, what am I doing here? Am I something in the room? I'm going to reach for something in the room. I, I feel I'm gonna reach for something in the room. So I'm gonna to start to do that. When I say go, I want you to begin to do an activity you 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 thought of doing here okay i'm going to touch the the board over here and go stop maybe you got there maybe you didn't how does it feel if you didn't get all the way there you're in a new position now a new form this is a new beginning with this new beginning Imagine a complete action in the opposite direction. Decide what it is. You can even say what it is out loud. I'm going to turn my back and lift my arm to the camera, my armpit to the camera. And go, stop. New position. What am I doing? A new action. How did it feel that I didn't get to finish my old action? Okay, I'm gonna decide that was a work of art all by itself and a new action. What's a new action? Take it in a very different direction. I'm gonna go down. I'm going to go down to something on my desk and go, stop. 
and release that. Good, good. And now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to, if you're up on your feet, um, I'd like you to take one, try to take one clear sequence of movement where you move from where you are in one clear sequence of movement to the chair and settle back in front of the camera. And I'm not gonna tell you when to go, but I'd like you to feel when you make the decision inside, I now begin. And move, and when you hit your final position, uh, uh, make your ending position very clear to yourself. No more movement after that. And I'm gonna switch the camera to each of you for a moment. So hold or sustain that final position. So find yourself in your ready readiness. And when you're ready, you know it, you decide, you begin. And release. So I would like to suggest um, a very interesting exercise that maybe contain its all. The feeling of ease, the feeling of beauty, the feeling of form, and the feeling of the whole. And uh, But I, I really think of it as the feeling of the whole exercise. So um, you can do it with your students or uh, to yourself. Um, you need to stand on the um, on the side of the stage or space that you're working on, and you need to to establish where is the middle of the the space. And you're going out. You need to be very relaxed, you know, at ease, and very. Um, uh, in a neutral position, not thinking about anything, not um, not doing anything, just in a very uh, neutral stance. And when you feel you're really empty or neutral, then you're doing five, seven, five, six, or seven steps to the middle of the space. So neutral and then here i'll stop here but you have a larger space and so and you're going to um turn to the audience and you look you're looking at them and after a few seconds you're just going out and into a voice and body improvisation it doesn't have to be logical. It, it's not textual, you know, it's not with text. And you need to do some something with your body and voice. Yeah, you can do this, you can, I don't know, you can do, but the thing is, you can't plan it. You need it to come in the moment. And you're doing it and then it stops. You're looking at everybody and you're turning and you're going in neutral the three, five steps outward. So if I'm going to do it when I'm, uh, let's try it and I'm at neutral.
Okay, that's, that's the spirit of it. And uh, you need to go out from the other side. Of course, I don't have the, the space here, but it works on everything, everything. And you need to, uh, to wrap this up. Really, you can't, you can't work this, do this thing, and then and go out. No, you need to do it and then close, close it. Feel that this came to an end and look at everybody and be neutral and go out neutral. There's a lot to talk about in this. Uh, it's timing, it's uh, going inside your, um, your artistic world, an artistic body, artistic event, close it in, uh, closing it off. It's a very interesting um, improvisation, free, you know, uh, free your mind. And it's a very, very profound and interesting. I think it's a Japanese exercise. So I hope you'll have um, a blast with it. So thank you. Thank you so much for our little section of check off on your feet with a feeling of entirety or wholeness. Ah! 